noob mod question. What's better, the long shot or the long strike? And anyone will tell you, by a long shot, pun intended, that this guy is the better choice. But this guy now has an Orange Mod Works Massacre kit in there for the long strike. And uh, I wanted to see how it performed up against my lightly modded long shot. Let's get started. Now, I'm going to be using the long shot with uh, standard orange streamlines. These aren't weighted or anything. Um, modifications for this thing are pretty basic. It's got a single big bad, spo big bad bow spring in there. Um, air restrictor removal, dead space removal. It's, it's pretty basic and it shoots great. The other thing I really like about this is... Wow, I just lost that dart out of the yard. Um, <laughs> for, uh, for a single... I mean, I'm just using one hand to prime this that hit my tree branch. That's in my pool. I've got one more, maybe? Nope, that's it. So, uh, all six darts out of there. I lost one out of my yard, so uh, boo-hoo. Now let's see how this long strike does. I'm going to be loading white darts into it so that way I can tell in the range test afterwards which guy did better. Now, of course, you're going to have darts like that one that hit my tree, or you're going to have ones that just spin out of control. So I'm going to account for that and try and be as fair as possible. That one hit my tree too. That one kind of spun crazy, but got good range. Still good range. Now, the prime on this is just annoying. <laughs> I think that's all of them. Yep, all out of darts. The prime on this thing is annoying to me, and I know I can dry fire this because Orange Modworks went through the trouble to dry fire test all of these for us. Um, it does actually show up a little bit of green back there for the primer, but to prime this, if I try and use one hand, it doesn't catch, and then that guy goes off, which means I still have the same bending and warping problem that I had with the stock, um, stock long strike parts instead of these nice new fancy um, Orange Modworks ones. So that's a little annoying. Um, let's go check out the ranges on these. So you can tell I haven't moved anything. Let's see. There's, these are both the ones that hit this branch here on my tree. Um, so those don't really count. Here's one from the long strike with the master kit on it that just kind of freakishly fell out of the sky. It just dipped down like crazy. And there's just one from the long shot right there. So that's pretty even too. And uh, looks like we've got two white ones from the long strike, one orange one from the long shot, another white one from the long strike. So these are all pretty even. But then there's also this rogue dart out here, which normally I wouldn't really count, but I also need to count the one that went over this fence from all the way back over there is my testing station. So the long shot, well, it's not really super fair to, um, there we go. Oh, wow, that's really high. There we go, maybe. Well, the long shot is, uh, kind of got the unfair advantage already because it's got a larger plunger system in there to deal with. Ooh, here comes the sun. Nice. Um, the, uh, the long strike still has that Orange Mod Works Master Kit in there, and they're, they're, they perform great. Up against a lightly modded long shot, it's still not a whole lot. And I'm having more issues again with the master kit, which is really frustrating. Uh, the polycarbonate parts are still bending on the inside. That bolt sled for the long strike um, just is not retaining because of the strength of the six kilogram spring in there. I should probably just get a five kilogram spring in there so that way it works a little better. Um, but I shouldn't have to do that. I mean, it's, it's kind of annoying to have to go out and buy a weaker spring to work with your kit so that we don't have to two-hand prime it all the time. Um, combat, uh, generally using these in games, the long shot is going to be better to use anyways because you can single prime it a lot faster. Um, also, you can, there are simple mods to make a shotgun mod for the long shot, even if you do have springs in there that are strong enough that need, um, that need the shotgun uh, pump to it. There is not a really easy way to do the long strikes shotgun pump. I've been trying to work on one for a while now. And the wind picked up. Um, so uh, 
It's a little frustrating that the Master Kit, after all this time, still has all those bending and warping issues on the inside, but at least it's good to see that now a long strike range-wise can compete with a lightly modded long shot. Now, this is what I'm worried about now, and this really has nothing to do with the test other than the fact that the long strike's bolt mechanism is, uh, is, is still not working the way I would like it to. The, uh, the long shot immortal kit that's slated to come out at the end of April, according to Orange Mod Works, um, I'm not exactly, I can't remember what kind of materials that they're going to be using, but I'm suspecting that they're going to have a really strong spring in there, and unless you have a shotgun mod for your long shot, I don't really want to be single hand priming my long shot all the time. It's, it's annoying and it's unnecessary. Um, I'm, I'm just a fan of the bolt action anyways, I'm not, I mean, shotgun, shotgun mods work just fine, but uh, part of the reason why I like the long shot is I really like that bolt mechanism. It's just a personal preference, I think it's cool, and, uh, and when it works, it works really well. So, um, it's, uh, it's just annoying that the Masker uh, Kit's polycarbonate parts are still warping inside the blaster. But a lightly modded long shot can go toe to toe with a light, uh, with a Orange Modworks Master Kit long strike. So uh, you be the judge. See ya.